So I was boarding a plane in Cleveland, Ohio, in the United States, where I'm from, and I was flying out to California to give a series of talks. So this is at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. As I'm sitting on the plane, before it takes off, we have Runway, a company I'll show you in a moment, teases a major breakthrough in the next generation of storytelling that was going to come out six days later. Meta, the Facebook parent company, <clears throat> announced the layoff of 10,000 workers and that they were freezing the hiring of 5,000 more. This announcement came through a blog post from Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO, where he outlined how they felt that artificial intelligence was actually going to be able to do much of the work that this workforce would have been doing otherwise. So again, this is before I've even taken off. This is still at 8.30 a.m. I'm still sitting on the plane at the airport. Then we start flying, and I'm flying to transfer through Denver and then to the West Coast. In the four hours between me leaving Cleveland and me arriving in California, we had the launch of GPT-4 by OpenAI. We had another language model company announce $350 million in funding in a single four-hour flight to the West Coast. This is what artificial intelligence and an exponential growth curve feels like. I landed and had to rebuild my presentation for the next morning 